So Tiffany goes online to one of those internet forums for new mothers. They all give him advice. Skin to skin contact works best. No, the sound of a, a vacuum cleaner. A cool breeze is soothing. A vacuum to stop a baby crying. I missed out on all this. Which one did he go with? All of them. <laughs> yeah, we come home and find him asleep, shirtless, on the floor, with Denny on top of him, a fan blowing at them, and the vacuum cleaner running in the corner. <laughs> wow, uh, he went all out, huh? <laughs> he always does. He always puts his heart into everything. Hey, hey. Hey. What are you guys doing here? Well, Harry and I were out. I needed to get some coffee. Then we thought... You guys probably need something. Uh, we haven't met, but I love you, Eddie. Michael, pleasure. Hey, this is a surprise. We brought food. Got you a bear claw. It's my favorite. Thank you. You check on Tim? Yeah, he's still in surgery. I'm starting to feel like an annual tradition. Another hospital, another girlfriend not by his bedside, and me wondering what I'm supposed to tell him when he wakes up. Well, tell him the truth. Whatever that turns out to be. Thank you. Very thoughtful. Harry's idea. Uh, he was worried, so he wanted to come down to make sure everything was okay. Uh, he's a sweet kid. It's nice of him to be worried about Chimney. Uh, he wasn't worried about Chimney. He was worried about you. Detective Marks. Hi, Chimney. Hey. I heard you had another surgery. Yeah. I guess I'm catching up with you. Hey. You're awake. <laughs> Looks like you got your first visitor. Does your dad know you're in here? Chris. I'm gonna say no. Welcome back, man. We were worried about you. I wasn't worried. I'm starting to think he's invincible. Like a superhero? Yeah. It's like a superhero. Okay, buddy. Let's uh, let Jimmy rest. We can visit him later. Don't eat the meatloaf. No. That's how I wash the tooth. Thanks for the tip, buddy. Let's go. Have a good rest. Where's Maddie? I don't think I brought enough. You brought everything I needed. I missed the whole day with them. I know. That's why we came. Well, that and I remember what it was like to live at a hospital. Uncomfortable chairs, terrible food. You don't have to stay. I, I mean, if you have stuff to do. No. I'm good here. 